interesting today. Oh, I, can't get in. I gotta let you in. How do I do that? There it is. Courtesy of Silver Star Mercedes Benz, otherwise known as Mercedes Benz of Thousand Oaks. They sent us over a really sweet ride. Really for the sweet? We we sweet. We may be going to a Ferrari event tomorrow, but we're not driving a Ferrari. Oh, this is good. driving something else. Serious! <laughs> One day away, actually, the Ferrari event is tomorrow morning, and courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Thousand Oaks, they sent me something cool, a little toy, right there. the Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet GTC. C, standing for Cabriolet, I guess. As in the top comes down. Yeah, I, I know it's not a Ferrari, but it's my show and I can pretty much drive what I want to drive. Right there. What's up, buddy? Hey, us, you. Uh, today is a, a very cool day. It's a Ferrari day. Um, well, kind of. Kind of? Yeah, because uh, there's no no Ferraris in the lot because it's way too early right now. And we do have a Mercedes, which I brought over there. But um, maybe that's why they're not here. <laughs> because I hope of the Mercedes show. No. Uh, today is Ferrari Automobiling, which I don't know where the name came from, but thanks to Cafe Lux, we have a really cool event going on today. Ken is here, I'm here, yeah. Cafe Lux is here, they're brewing some coffee right now, it's super early. I think it's all gonna be red, red Ferraris. Uh, there might be a couple of silvers, a couple of yellows. I want a yellow. You yellow, want a yellow? Yeah. That's the thing, I didn't tell you, so we get to, you know, pick which one we want. But it'd also be kinda cool. All red though, a sea of red. It would be. Yeah, it would be. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. It's Ferrari Club of America, they're gonna show up anytime. Yeah. Let's get rolling. So far, I'm not sure how many are here, but quite a few. Good morning. Good morning. So good morning. Good morning. It's early in the morning. I can't believe you got me out this early. You know, and all uh, my I, I can't tell you how grateful I am. How appreciative I am. How grateful that, are you? Uh, you know, well, uh, I'll deal with it later. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> so the coffee is brewing. Yes. Uh, how was it so far? The coffee's delicious. You got, I came yesterday to test it. I know. You came over and then kind of scoped the place out, made sure I wasn't full of it. Right. They you gave know. it to me for free. Good. Very wow. nice. And uh, we have uh, how many cars? Maybe 25 or so? About, about 20. I think it's okay. 24. Yeah, cars. there's going to yeah. be some strategy. You said some people were sleeping. Yeah. Some people were sleeping. Slander. Some people got lost. One guy called me six times mm -hmm. just to get to the starting point, and he still got lost. And now he's called me three times to get here. So okay. tell me about the club. You know, if someone is out there, they got a Ferrari, they want to join up with you guys because you guys are having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the club. Well, first of all, they don't need a Ferrari to join the club. Okay. They just have to have an appreciation. Okay. But if you have a Ferrari, this is the club to join. Now, the Ferrari Club of America is the official club of Ferrari. If you want to have fun with Ferrari dinners, rides, weekends, romantic events, uh, car shows, uh, private Hanging out tours. with dudes that give you a kiss on the cheek. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get any better. And we have girls. Ferrari Club of America, mm -hmm. all right? 
on on Google or anything else. And it's, and it's nationwide, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, we have almost 7,000 members. Right. But the Southern California chapter, so when you get on that website, it'll show you regions and punch the region that you're in, yeah. Southern Cal, and boom. Ferrari's your uncle. Exactly. <laughs> all right. It's only 135 bucks a year to join. Oh man, I'm oh, thinking yeah. 135 k You get three different magazines. No, that's what you got to do to get the car. Right. Julie's here, taking cool photos. Come here, man. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Which one is your favorite so far in this, uh, in this show? I would have to say that this one right here is my favorite. Oh my god. You always <laughs> want photos taken of anything. This is the girl that needs to do it. I went on the roof because uh -huh. I thought that'd be fun to see all of these amazing yes. Ferraris. Right, everywhere. 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 Yes. I'm wondering where the pretty girls are that are supposed to be laying all over these Ferraris. I thought you were going to do that. No, no. no. What are you doing, Gary? Oh, we picked the winner. Well, you picked the winner. It's random. Uh, Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. All right. So we got your card. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Winner Thank chicken you. dinner. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming by. How's the coffee? It's early. <laughs> The coffee is the best, and Alexis is the best. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, it's nice that you, you take your first sip and it doesn't like burn your entire uh, mouth. I know, I know. Like you know. It's, it's great. And that thing, that pastry I had, I forget what it's called, something queen something. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? You, you really should eat one and then leave as fast as possible because they're so good that you end up eating you know, like, a bunch of them. Yeah. Way too many. Way too yeah. many. Well, they're great, and I've been chosen for one for since you <laughs> asked me to come out here. If you want to take one of these cars, home you can but you already got a cool car so yeah you know well maybe i'll leave this one here event is doing extremely well. I'll take you guys upstairs, show you a bird's eye view. You rock. rock. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to see the next vlog. But everybody had such a great time. That's just cool, man. Yep. This car is heavier than the other uh, cars, but you know it's a true convertible. It's got roll bar pop-up protection. Nice. If you try to flip it, it actually will protect you. It feels more like a true convertible when the top stay on. It's the California. Yeah, I'm gonna go carve some canyons. All right, the Ferrari event was a success. Uh, big thanks to uh, Mercedes-Benz of Thousand Oaks for this incredible car that we're driving right now for the next day or so. Did it cause any trouble at the Ferrari show? Uh, no, actually everyone liked it. It was a big hit. guys 
on a quick little ride, a little journey. I have a lot of people to thank uh, because of what we did today and how spectacular it was, but it, it wasn't something that just happened off the cuff. This is something that's been evolving over time. Now, five or six years ago, I started uh, with a couple of people, Malibu Cars and Coffee, that happened up at Pepperdine. We did that with the city. We did that for a few years. Uh, it was successful to a point, limited space. I uh, couldn't really do too much with it. Had to bring coffee and things like that. Then I decided to start my own show separate from that, and we moved to the Gladstones. That show was successful as far as people coming, but not successful as far as the experience they were having. It wasn't, it wasn't the absolute best that I could provide. So then I contacted the uh, boys and girls of the Malibu Country Mart right in downtown Malibu. Before I could even ask them if they wanted to do a car show, they asked me if I wanted to do a car show, and of course I said yes. Now, that was about 14 shows ago. We're talking 14 months of doing Wheels and Waves. And since then, it's grown and it's uh, uh, turned into this really spectacular show, and you're gonna see a little bit of that in tomorrow's vlog. But because of that show, uh, the guys at uh, Cafe Lux, the incredible coffee place we were just at, saw that that's what we're doing and said, hey, you know, we, we should let, we'd like to do something here at, at our place, but of course, we can't do a Wheels and Waves because there's not that big of a space, but we can do something maybe with just a club. So I contacted my good buddy Kenny Lombino, which you just met, of the Ferrari Club of America, and uh, together we put this, this really great event on because Cafe Lux wanted to create a, a, a type of experience that was unique, unique to them. Now my point about all this is that you gotta really understand the, the concept, the, the solidification, the, the attractive power of giving. We're entering into uh, Thanksgiving and, and Christmas holidays and it's a season of giving, but honestly it's it's really not. Uh, the season of giving should be year round. It should be happening all the time. Now our goal between Cafe Lux, myself, and the Ferrari Club of America was to, to give a great experience to, to all those people that came to that event. Not only the drivers of the Ferraris, uh, which you know they, they are passionate about their cars and they love sharing their stories and, and talking about their vehicles. Also, where, where would you go other than maybe a dealership to see that many Ferraris and you couldn't really do it at a dealership because you got those sales guys that are going to come on to you and try to sell you one of these cars. So this, along with some really spectacular coffee, we tried to create an event that would be fun for all. And to say that it was successful is an understatement because everybody left with a sense of joy, a sense of having an experience that you, you really couldn't get anywhere else. Now Gary at Cafe Lux, Kenny at the Ferrari Club, and myself, we all you know do our best to try and give the best possible experience in anything that we do. And one of my strongest loves, one of the things I like to do the most is putting people together. But I certainly have Cafe Lux to thank right here to Kenny and his crew of Ferrari owners and drivers. They did a, a phenomenal job being parking the cars and, and going out there and talking to people and being open and allowing people to sit in their cars and do all kinds of really great things. Even thanks to my my own crew, you know, which was uh, consists of Ken and Wes and, and uh, you know, some of the guys that come and they help out. And also big thanks to my buddy Mark Sternberger who gave me this gift, the potato in the pants. I don't know, Mark. Keep, keep coming up with those ideas, man. It doesn't end there. Tomorrow is a big day. It's Wheels and Waves number 14. We got some really incredible cars and a few surprises. Don't forget to hang out with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.